our next step is going to be creating a curve that is going to include and exclude particular geometry. Um, but before I actually do the inclusion part of it, I want you to first understand cull patterns, right? So it's, it's the exclusion of certain index items in a list. Um, and so to do that, I'm going to just drop in another panel like I just had up, but it wasn't in the last recording. So um, here we have a list of circles, right? So that list, actually, it might not show there. We'll see. So anyway, um, cull. Cull is to remove. And if you go under set and sequence, you'll see that you've got a couple of options here for cull. Yeah, cull. So, what's that? Well, what we're going to use is cull pattern. Um, and for cull pattern, it's going to ask us for two things. This is under set sequence. It's going to ask us for the list, right? So that's the source material that it's going to take things away from. And then it's going to ask us for a pattern to cull, obviously. Um, but now we're going to get into something that is new. It's a new terminology for you, at least in this program. Um, it's called Boolean. And so you learned a little bit, I think, on the Rhino side about doing a Boolean difference. Um, it's, uh, I don't know the guy's full history, but Georg Boole, I think was his name. Um, he was the one that came up with Boolean mathematics, and so it deals with uh, simplifying things in terms of positives and negative, or not positives and negatives, but uh, trues and falses or zeros and ones, which is the basis upon which computer programming has, you know, blossomed into everything in our technological world today. Yeah. So um, I don't really know anything about his mathematics and geometry. I just know that little bit. Okay. Georg Buhl is his name. He's a cool guy. Um, so anyway, I think he's Irish. Um, so Cull pattern is going to ask us for Boolean values, which means it's either going to be falses or trues. And that could be read as either true or false or zeros and ones, in which case uh, I believe zeros are going to be the falses and ones are going to be the trues. Okay, so that can be written either way, and we'll show. I'll show you both. But... Um, the way that I'm going to do this is very simple um, and similar to repeat data. So I'm actually just going to copy and paste that down and disconnect the L so that we're dealing with an isolated sequence here. Oh, I'm sorry. No, we need the L. We do need that. My apologies. So um, because cull pattern is actually asking for um, a list of data, you can just type in a certain number of values or you could have it repeat. Actually, does cull pattern continue to repeat? I, I don't recall if it inherently repeats. We'll try it without the repeat and then we'll see. So um, Boolean functions are going to be read as trues and falses, which means you can either type it in as text or you could type it in as multi-line data. Um, so I'm going to turn off that value. And here I'm going to write in true, true, false, true, false, true. True. It doesn't have to be. So I added another true at the top because I wanted a block of them to be the same. So after you hit OK, it should read as a list of information like that. Um, and when I plug that into L, I'm sorry, not L. Wait. Yeah, no, not L. Uh, P. P. 
text to boolean. Does it need to be multi-line? There we go. Okay, my mistake. It does need to be um, turned off of multi-line. It needs to be a list. My apologies. Thought you could do it the other way. So right-click it. Uh, if you turned it onto multi-line data, just turn it back to a list by toggling multi-line data. So the list now that we are going to call um, is going to be essentially the circles that we've created, I think. So when I plug the circles in, it's been a while since I've done this one. Yeah, that's right. So when I plug the circles in, um, I'm going to turn off everything before and now you can see that there are circles missing from my pattern. I actually, like I suspected, I guess I did remember something from back in the day, I don't need to repeat this because Boolean, um, the cull pattern, actually does have an inherent repeater. Yeah, okay, yeah, it says it in the description. Okay, so it says uh, remove elements in a list using a repeating bit mask. Mask just meaning that it's going to overlay one data with another. So it takes all of my trues and leaves the circle there. And then wherever I type in false, it removes that item from the list. So let's follow it, right? So I did three trues, a false, a true, and then a false and a true. So as I'm reading through my pattern here, I have true, true, true false, where there's a circle missing, true, false, and then true. Okay, so what questions do you have about cull pattern? It's pretty simple. Okay, no questions about that. That's good. <clears throat> so I'm going to stop this video here keep an idea together, um, and then move on to actually inclusion using geometry.